All right, it's another day. Um, I'm going to work on the uh, the Indian woman today. Uh, I'm going to work on her neck and uh, maybe her hair. I don't know. Uh, her dress and maybe her hands. I've got to figure out what to do with this arm. Um, I'm, please subscribe and like my video if you... Uh, enjoy watching what I do. Uh, also click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that uh, you can get notices when uh, I put up a video. Uh, also understand that I do these things as uh, this is going to be an instructional uh, set of DVDs on how to create a man and a woman to go with a horse that I had an instructional DVD on uh, on how to create the horse which was a two disc uh, uh, video or two disc uh, instructional DVD set. I'm going to use uh, my mannequin's uh, hand as a reference for her hand, but I'll do that later after I get uh, started on uh, her uh, neck here. Also, I got this, uh, both arms. Now, one arm has a muscle showing, one arm has the skin on. Now, the one with the muscles on it uh, has a missing finger. It was broken by me at some point. Uh, it's very easy to break these uh, fingers, so you got to be real careful with your uh, mannequins. They're very expensive and uh, damaged. Well, you just have to live with it. got to be careful where you lay it down. You can't lay it down next to metal because it's got magnets in the uh, upper part of the arm. And they want to stick to everything. I want to keep her neck slender. And it all depends on what kind of uh, hairstyle I put on her head that's going to determine how much detail I put in the neck. Now the key is to keep the neck centered on her uh, shoulders. You don't want to have too much to one side of her body and you want to keep it right in the center of the body. I'm thinking I'm going to give her long hair, I mean uh, loose hair, rather than uh, braids, since I've got braids on the uh, warrior. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do the braids on the uh, woman. Alright, what I want to do is get the collarbone in, and uh, all the body structure below the hair and underneath the clothing. I want to get that done first before I put the hair on because after you put the hair on you can't uh, you can't come back it, it, you can but it's just that much harder to adjust it this is part of that major neck muscle all right I think what I'm going to do is start blocking in her hair, and uh, let's get my knife. I want to have her hair centered, this part in her hair. So I'm going to just run that.
center of her head. I might take this one piece and have it come down. But the problem with that is, is they got to cast that separate. And so that's going to cost. So I got to make a decision whether to do that or not. If I push it back a little now, bit, I can bring a little hair. Let's see. Keep it all the same length. I can bring a little hair coming out from under her hair. That looks so much better. That head works out better than the, the other one. The other one was way too small. I've worked out her hair here. And uh, her neck and uh, the positioning of her head and her upper shoulders. And I think it looks good. It's gonna. She's going to have an earring on that side. It's, I've gone as far as I'm going to go tonight. I'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm going to be adding a little more detail to this uh, dress. Uh, maybe a robe of some kind. Don't know yet. Just trying to figure it out. I've been doing a little research. And we'll see what happens. Tomorrow or the next time. Alright, see ya next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.